What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Norn Rad 89 here, bringing you another rad movie review. And today, we're going to be talking about a 1989 body horror film. And why is this special? Well, 89, the year I was born. But besides that, this is a very unique, influential body horror film. Like I said, from the late 80s, it's called Society from 1989. If you haven't seen this film, I highly recommend checking it out. Even though I know it's not for everybody, you definitely have to be into body horror and very intense imagery if you're going to be watching this movie so be warned so let's get down to talking about what i did love about this movie besides body horror being one of my favorite subgenres in horror just the fact that way this movie plays out the story it has our main character who is played by billy warlock i believe that's his name the actor's name and he plays a young teen who all his nightmares basically become true as he kind of has you know anxiety and he's worried about things and he doesn't feel accepted in his own family he kind of feels alienated and a lot of teens you can recognize you can feel that some teens teens when they're growing up you know they feel completely different they feel like they're not a member of their family or they're just not a member of society but this one yeah billy he has friends but he feels like yeah he's definitely different person compared to his family and the way his sister is too. The way his parents treat his sister as well is very different from the way they treat him. So it's a very intriguing film. It took a good minute for me to get into it. About 15 to 20 minutes I was like, hmm, I don't know if I like this at first. But then it started picking up, started rolling. It has this great blend too of comedy in it as well, which is pretty interesting because I'm used to body horror films and not a lot, a lot of body horror films have comedy. And if they do have comedy, it's very dark, grotesque comedy. But this is kind of a more natural, realistic kind of comedy. Something, you know, the dialogue is like what characters or people would say in real life. That's why I was enjoying it. And as the movie progresses, you know, Billy, he of course gets more interested and more intrigued and is more curious about what's going on. There's a person who used to date his sister, a boy named Blanchard in this movie, and he ends up bringing Billy a tape that has some pretty incriminating stuff on it. And so I don't want to get crazy demonetized or have trouble with YouTube, but there's some wild stuff in this movie. Like I said, it basically the whole entire crux when we find out into the third act and we get into it, it gets wild for sure. I don't think you can really predict where this film is going to go but as it's going on you could kind of see what's happening you know what i mean you could kind of feel it but then when we get to the money shot at the end i was like damn like we went they went all the way so basically billy's parents are part of the higher up high class society and you could kind of tell that they have their fingers in the pie like everywhere his parents his sister he even goes to a therapist in this movie too who talks to him and one, right away when you see therapists in movies a lot of times you're like not very trusting of them you know what I mean <laughs> we even have a great example of the recent movie Matrix Resurrections with Neil Patrick Harris so therapists you always kind of feel that that when you're watching them you're like oh, I don't know if I can trust this guy at first you know what I mean so that's what kind of plays on is you really like Billy in this movie is you're being sectioned off and you're being like alienated from everybody else because everything else feels so unnatural and not normal and then, of course, chaos ensues. Billy finds out deep down and dirty what his parents and the society is up to and what the society is, the higher up classes. They basically literally feed off of the lower class people. And that's what's crazy. It's like it instead of going figurative with it, they went completely literal with it. And it's amazing, like the money shots and the gore and the graphics, the realistic effects at the end in the third act are just amazing harkens back to very kind of like Hellraiser type stuff. And I love that Hellraiser is one of my favorite horror franchises and I like realistic effects. Like I really do hate CGI. Sometimes CGI can work and it's needed, but when you're able to do realistic effects, put in the time and do some real effects. This film is also directed by Brian Usna. If you don't know him, he did The Bride of Reanimator and also did Return of the Living Dead Part 3. He's a big film producer as well, but Return of the Living Dead Part 3 is actually one of my favorite zombie films. That is a great movie, and Bride of the Reanimator is another good body horror film. So Brian Usna as a director is definitely in his wheelhouse when he did this movie, Society. You know what I mean? It's all this kind of stuff, like I said, it's in his wheelhouse, it's comfortable, and he knows what he's doing, and you can see his directorial style just take you through this film and like for it being the 80s it has a good 80s vibe it has good comedy but it's also grotesque at the same time and that's why I love this film and that's why I like body horror films too is because 
they give you stuff that's uncomfortable to watch on screen and you're not even sure if you should be watching it you're like oh my god like should i watch this like is this this is gonna change me but that's what i mean that's why i like body horrors because it really hits that nerve of that point where it's like what can we do to make you uneasy and this film i think does a great job and by the end when we got to that third act i was like damn i was on for the ride like i said for the first 15 20 minutes i was like mm -hmm. I'm not really into this it's okay but I'm not into it but then as the mystery kept growing as the intrigue kept going and the curiosity kept climbing my curiosity and intrigue kept climbing as well and like I said by the time we got to that third act it was a huge payoff I loved it and I'm like just so kind of upset at myself that I haven't seen this film I'm really into body horror films but society was one that kind of slipped under the radar for me you know I love Hellraiser American Mary, May, those are some other great body horror films, and yeah, Society was one that got dropped to me, I was like, damn, I need to check this out, it's free on Tubi if you want to check it out right now, but as I said in my intro, be careful, because there's some highly grotesque imagery in this movie, but it's still a great vibe, I love this film, and if you're able to stomach that kind of stuff, then check this movie out, because I think you're really going to enjoy it. Thanks for sticking around with me all for this rad movie review of Society, a new, or not a new, but an old school body horror film that I just recently caught from 1989. Let me know in the comments section what you thought of this film, if you've seen it, and be sure to stay glued to the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I'm going to have a bunch of other content coming out soon. Have a safe and happy day, everyone. Peace out.